the The Audio Hype 4. Let's talk about it. Now this is a personal set and I am really shocked at this set and it's kind of disrupted a lot of the way I feel about audio and I feel about the pricing structure of IEMs and I'm extremely impressed with this set and its tuning but let's get into some of the more finer details first. Let's look at the shells and I think shells are always debatable but I think this is a really good shell. I think it's a good size. For some reason it has a little bit of a hard time sticking in my ear and I've had to try do a lot of tip rolling to try to really find the right tip for myself that would work. But it is a really small shell. I mean, if you compare this to the other items I usually compare it to being the Magic One and the Fat Frequency Grand Maestro, you can tell that it's just a, a kind of a medium sized shell. It's kind of somewhere in between the two. Now the cable, the cable is a really nice cable. It feels the same as their new modern Oracle 2 and, and Monarch Mark 3 cables, but it does have a 3.5 dedicated connector at the end, which I do like and I find to be more durable. Now the included case is also really nice. It's the same case you'll see in their more expensive IEMs. It's a nice case, it has a good selection of tips. Nothing too exciting as we look in here. I haven't even pulled them out. I've pretty much just been using my Elotech tips on it. Again, it's a great packaged IEM. It feels exceedingly premium. It feels like an IEM that's two or three times the cost of what it is. And so packaging wise, you know, I like this cable. It's, it doesn't really sit pretty when you try to lay it flat, but I mean, what cable does, it's a great packaged now, if I had to describe the sound with words, I would say that it's impactful and strong. The bass is lush and deep. It's not as deep as you would wish in some other IEMs, but it sounds really good. It, the mids are also really nice and they don't pierce me when I try to listen to podcasts and other things. Vocals come across really well and strong, but not overly too much. It has nice detail air and resolution and is all around a really good set so overall this set sounds really good with music and everything that really sounds really just right to me uh well let's get some track impressions but it's it's hard to find any faults some of the symbols seem a little bit weird and they shimmer kind of off to me um some drum beats don't feel like they have enough thump and realism to them but overall, it's a nice tuning that's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close to what I might like. So in this song, Mo Beats Righteous, there's a beat that drops here right around 122, and it's just, ah, it's so nice. Let's listen to it. And when that beat comes in, dropping out actually right about 123, it just sounds so perfect and so right and just it, it like vibrates in shell and it's it's just a really awesome experience with this set all right so let's look at the the audio hype fours graph you'll notice it has pretty good channel matching i don't always show it off but in this one it's pretty much perfect so that's just kind of a fun thing to note but as a nice graph that's very close to my target and i've even thought about messing around with my target, because I mean, I really do like a peak right around 3K. I do like a lot of dip around 5K to 6K. This fits me what I like pretty much to a glove. Um, so let's go ahead and look at a few other graphs in comparison. One of the big IEMs that's hyped as of late is the High Senior Mega 5 EST. I think they graph a lot the same. But there's a lot of advantages of getting the Hype 4. I think the Hype 4 is cheaper. I think it's cable and packaging is a little bit better, but it's debatable. But I think just overall, sonically, it sounds a bit better. And I would, my personal take is, is that the Hype 4 is, you know, it's about $150 cheaper and it's just way easier to recommend. I just can't see why someone would want to go with the Mega 5 EST. I personally put it in here and I just kind of got bored with it. I didn't really find it that exciting or something that I really wanted to listen to. The Mega 5 EST just is dull. 
and it's not exciting to to listen to. The hype for, yeah, I don't know, something about it just gets me out of bed. Maybe it's something about my HRTF. Maybe my unit was bad. But for me, this this hype for dumpsters on the Mega the Mega Five EST. But the, I mean, the Mega Five EST is not a bad set. But I didn't like it nearly as much as I do with the hype. The next one I want to look at is kind of my default recommendation uh, to people is the Binary Giz Audio Chopin. Now, I know people might get tired of me talking about this, but I love this IEM not only because it's a nice sounding IEM, but it's also pretty cheap. It's also half the price. And so I think you're going to get 98% of the quality of the Hype 4 for about the same price. I think some ways the Chopin is a little bit more fun and a little bit bouncier, but it's it's not perfect. And I think, you know, if you want to just say which one's the better one, not looking at price, yeah, definitely the Hype 4. It's by far better. And I think, you know, I don't call that many IEMs better than the Chopin on a value standpoint. But I think in this case, the Hype 4 might be a better value than the Chopin. Uh, the next one I want to look at is, uh, I don't know if it's a fair comparison, but they're about the same price. Performer 8. And they do have a lot of graph trends. They don't sound nearly an, nearly alike. The Performer 8 is a lot more flat. I think it has better details and better sparkle and air. I think the Hype 4 is a little bit more fun and a little bit more engaging. I think there's a case for both of them and they complement each other well, but I definitely would have to go with the Hype with the Hype 4 on an overall library sense and on what I would want to listen to on a daily basis. Another one um, that I wanted to show you is the Monarch 2. Now notice so many trends between these two are so similar. These graphs are both really similar. I think the Hype 4 has a really good treble extension. Um, I think it has a little bit better sub sub bass and it's just a little bit more fun i think the monarch mark ii is a good iem but it comes across a little bit more neutral vocals seem a little bit more dead and not as exciting but it's a good set and i think as far as like some of the details air and technicality go you might find the hype for a little bit lacking but i think the tuning of the hype for is a little bit better and the value proposition of the hype for is a lot better now versus the Monarch Mark III. I think the Monarch Mark III is interesting. It has a lot of energy in the four to six K region. It has a lot better pronounced bass, but I think the problem with the Monarch Mark II is it is a fun presentation. But for me, this area right here is really, really fatiguing and it's hard for me to listen. So, I mean, if you look at the Monarchs, I think personally the Hype 4 is one of the better Monarchs out there. And I think, I mean, that says a lot, to, a lot. It's a very good IEM. It sounds really good. It's it's nice having an ear in it for a value proposition. It's it's a good way to look at things. I really like the Hype 4. I was, I was shocked how much I liked it. I kind of thought it would just be kind of a normal set, but it becomes to be one of my favorite sets that I have. So if we look at my ranking list, this is what I've currently come up with. I'm putting the Audio Hype 4 at number three. It's a really good set. Now I, that doesn't really mean much because everything's sorted because of preference and value. So what I did is I made a copy of my rank, ranking list and to show you how it's ranked by over audio score. Now, if this is it right here, you can see the big boys, I still are doing really, really well, like the Valor and the Grand Maestro and the Supernova is doing well. This is, to me is about on the same level as the Theodio Monarch Mark II. This is overall a really well-tuned, fun IEM that has good detail, sparkle, and air, and I can't really complain about it. So in conclusion, how do I feel about this set? I feel this is a really good set, and I feel like it kind of sets the bar as far as packaging goes. Now, I do have a dust coming in, I am on a tour to get the new Giz Audio X Dunu Da Vinci set as well. So I will get copies of those here pretty soon and compare them with the Hype 2. But suffice it to say that I'm exceedingly impressed with this set. You know, 
it's at an interesting price where it's kind of mid-fi. Is it really that much better than something like, you know, the Performer 5 or some of these other sets that are also pretty good? Maybe. And that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to say is that I do think this is a good set. I don't think it's the most perfect value proposition out there, but what is? It's a little bit expensive, but it's very good quality and it's really fun. And I fully enjoy this set. I can't recommend it enough. Thanks for watching. You're still here. It's over. Go home. Go watch another IEM video. It's done. That's the entire video. What more do you want?